Because cancer mutates constantly, not all cells within a tumor are the same. One way they may differ is how susceptible they are to individual anti-cancer drugs. When a tumor is treated with a drug or drug regimen, susceptible cells are killed. But cells that are not susceptible may survive. These cells multiply over time resulting in a tumor that may now be resistant to the drugs used to treat it. Immunotherapy is designed to work differently. It activates the immune system, which may then be able to adapt as cancer mutates. Immunotherapy initially activates different cells of the immune system to destroy cancer cells displaying a specific protein called a tumor antigen. But what if some of a patient's tumor cells lack this antigen? There is some evidence that an activated immune system may be able to deal with this and keep the fight going. Whenever a cancer cell is destroyed, it releases additional tumor antigens. Many of these antigens will be different than the original antigen introduced by the immunotherapy. These different antigens may also be picked up by antigen-presenting cells, which can recruit and activate a totally new set of T cells, natural killer cells, and B cells. These immune cells may now be able to attack cancer cells bearing the different antigens. This process is called antigen spreading. In this way, immunotherapy works differently it is designed to support the immune system's ability to adapt and kill cancer cells as the disease mutates over time. 